have here is Sioma, our then class prefect and Chinelo's watchdog. So, I was going to ask you, after writing down the names of noisemakers in class and making sure that all your enemies' names were in the book, did you get appointed as the Secretary General of the Federal Republic of Nigeria or perhaps SSG to the states, at least. Ngozi, I'm not caught out with troubles with you. On the contrary, I'm not here to make troubles, darling, but to set the record straight. To let you know that the table has turned. And who is dragging table with you? What is my business? Listen, don't you ever stop me next time and sound this stupid. Oh. Else. You will not like me. There she goes again. You're still this disgruntled fighter. You know, I thought that after you graduated from the university, you must have learned something. Well, hell no, you learned nothing. Well, no wonder you're still poor. Anyway, I thought it wise to come to the village and look for you so I can make you my receptionist in one of my shops. You know, it's rather better than staying idle. And trust me, the pay is worth it. <laughs> You're going to like this offer. Isioma, I swear I'll pay you well. <laughs> Don't touch him. Don't touch him. Mama, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry? Sorry for what? Actually, sorry for what? You want to kill your own son over a place that can be replaced. Hi, Chimu, how calm can you be? You want to kill my grandchild, Oman Lele? Chimu, Oman Lele? I don't know what came over me. I, 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 I don't know. Okay. the problem is that you have refused to be helped until you get that help. Don't ever touch my grandchild again. The level of bitterness in you is worse than witchcraft. Chile, you almost got the game one. You have a royal the wicked. Just to what happens to this boy. If not, if Messiah. Yeah. Yeah. I fell it. I fell it. No. G, what is it? You found it so urgent on the phone. Thank God you came. Thank God you came. Easy. I am drowning. I am drowning. I am. I am drowning right now. What happened? I, I. 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 I nearly killed my son today. What? Now you? Yes. I, why? Okay. Just calm down and talk to me. Everything will be fine. No! No! Everything will not be fine! I nearly killed my son! I nearly killed him because of what? A broken plate! Can you be that? A broken plate! I beat my son like a criminal today because he broke a plate. And now that I think of it, it is not even about the broken plate. It's something else. It's it, 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 like a, a lump, a big lump, touched in my chest. And I cannot bring it out. And I'm going crazy. I am going crazy. My mother said I need help. My mother said I need help. She said, she said I need help. It's okay. You need help. Not just your mother. I've told you severally, you need help. Sit, sit, oh, 
sit down and help me. She then help me! Okay. Come, <laughs> listen to me. I'm not in a position to help you. You need a therapist. You see, my few years in the university has taught me a lot of things. People go through a lot. People go through emotional trauma. Some commit suicide. Some become toxic. All in the means of what they've experienced in life. She, she will not allow your past experience to wear you down. You need to talk to someone. So who do I talk to? You need to see a professional psychotherapist. I am not really mad. And my brain is still intact. So what are you saying? I know. I did not say you're really mad. But you mustn't be really mad before you see a therapist. Listen. With the way you're going, it will be very bad. She, you destroy things. Beat up your son. Do a whole lot of things. All ah. in the midst of trying to get yourself back. You have to do something before he consumes you. Do you have anyone? Oh, come, sit down, okay? Sit. Oh, I'm here for you, okay? Don't actually, but we can look around. Um, you, you said something about one lady you saw the other day that gave you her card. Her name sounded like something they use at the hospital. Yeah. Anastasia, but please, 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 for the love of God, she is the last person I want to talk to right now. But she gave you her card and her phone number, even her profession is there. And how are you sure she is truly what she says she is? But you can never tell. Just give it a try. I'll take your phone and call her. Call her. Give her a call. Hmm? Oh, I'm so sorry, Chinese. I'm sorry I couldn't come as soon as you called. I was out of town. I'm it, very sorry. It's okay. At least you're here now. Thank you so much <coughs> for coming. Thank it's you. Okay. Where is Nayo? Um, he went out with my mother. Oh wow, I'd really love to see him. I'm sure they'll be back soon. Would you like to go for a ride? So sorry, I know you're wondering why I brought us here. Well, I think maybe it's because you don't want us to be disturbed. Right. And also, I want you to be free, calm, free your emotions. Without any shame or feeling any form of judgment. Sit. But my world is shattered. I have lost it all. Do you have any questions to ask me? Not really. No, you do. Yes. Like, who is this lady? What does she want from me? Was she particular about my business? What does she gain? What does she have to benefit from this? And so on. So go on, ask me your questions. You don't seem to be from around here. No, I'm not. I stay in the capital city. So what then do you come to this village to do? My fiancé is from this village. But he's not around at the moment. So he sent me a message to his mom. And you know women need someone to talk to, so I come to keep her company sometimes. Oh, I see. <sighs> 
So, tell me about yourself. There's nothing to tell apart from what you already know. My name is Chino Okoye. I'm a single mother. There must be more to you than the single mother tag. Because I see a unique young lady whose life contains a promissory note yet to fulfill her promise to her parents and to herself. I am just a young woman who couldn't keep her acts together. A girl whose dreams of going to school and achieving great things have been jeopardized. When you look at me, you see a failed woman, a scorned woman. A scorned woman whose fur is worse than hell. Why do you feel like that? That is what I am. A failed woman. A container load of shattered hopes. An obscure future with no signs of brightness. No sign at all. Hmm. We're getting somewhere. I see the problem. And to solve this problem, we have to start from the very root. The root cause from the very beginning. Why do you feel like a failure? How else will you describe a girl who was once on top of the world but now at rock bottom? A girl who was once the best in her class, on top of her game, bubbling with so much life, always receiving congratulatory messages from both family, friends, and even teachers. That same young girl has been tossed out like a used rag, mm. nursing a child while her mates are out there achieving great things. I am not getting any younger. With every passing day, old age approaches and I have not achieved anything nothing nothing at all with my life <sighs> everything was going great until he showed up hmm. Until who showed up?
Hello. Is somebody there?
Yes, come in. Hey, mom. Give me mom. Oh yes, when I when I got into the house, one of the cooks told me that you were there. So I didn't bother to disturb you. Yeah. How's he anyway? Yeah, so far you don't go. Pretty cool. Okay. I need a little play of my hair. Understand. That's fine. Yeah, I understand what you have to be very careful for. The days are evil. The days are evil. And you do not know much the way around the village. Mom. I can take care of myself. Okay? So you don't have to worry. I have to worry, son. Yes. You've been away from the country for some time now. So believe me when I say that people are becoming more evil. One can't be too careful. It's alright, mom. I get the point. Okay? I'll bear that in mind. By the way, did you speak to the doctor? Oh, yes, I did. We'll be coming tomorrow. Good. Alright. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you know so you're ready? I'll be ready, boys. Yeah. Alright. Ah. So, I'm waiting downstairs. Thank you, mom. I'll join you guys soon. All right. I'm calling you and you just ignored me. What do you want? You already know, Chi. Eh? I am ready to do anything just to make you mine. Give me a chance. Just say yes. Eh? Eh. Yes. <laughs> Emeka, yes. Yeah, I have told you several that I am not interested in any form of relationship. But uh -uh. You pester me every day. Why? Do you, do you know I love you? Hmm? Yes. I mean, all your friends have boyfriends to their self. Just give me a chance. Uh, 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 listen. Having a boyfriend is the least of my worries right now. I have exams to prepare for. 
And I have dreams that I want to achieve. I don't need any form of distraction. Are you saying I'm distracted? Uh, 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 listen, it's very obvious you don't have any important thing to say. Please, as you she can see, I, I was... Go, don't touch me, Biko. She just go. Ah, see, I will love and cherish you. Don't want give, give, give this thing to all those, all those village, uh, village boys. Too. Chichi. Here you are. Who are you? My name is Chidi. So, what are you doing here? What am I doing here? I should be the one asking you that question. What are you doing here? Besides, you haven't told me your name. You are standing on my spot. Your spot? Yes, I usually come here to read. And this is where I sit. I didn't see you here yesterday. By the way, I have a friend who comes here every day. Ooh. I'll show you. Come see. Yeah. Get that. Listen, have you been following me? No, 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 come on. I, I'm so sorry I didn't mean to freak you out. Okay? Just, 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 just don't hurt me. No, I, I'm not going to. No. Hey! Hey! Hey!
you okay? Chidi. More than fine. Are you sure? Do you want to talk? I said I'm fine. I just want to be left alone. Please. Chidi, talk to me and your mother. Mom, I'm fine. Chida, are you sure? I'm really sure. What the hell is wrong with me? I just wanted to talk to her. Now I ended up freaking her out. Oh. She might never grab me or dance again. What is wrong with me? What is wrong with me? There is something I really want to talk to you about. Talk to me about? What is it? Yes. It's about your friend, Chinelu. Yeah. You see, I want you to help me talk to her. That she should be my girlfriend. Yes. I have done everything possible for her to accept me as a man. But she's just too stubborn. Please help me talk to her. Talk to her about what? Anything. Tell her that I love her. Tell her about my feelings for her. I truly love her. Emeka, Chinelo has a mind of her own. She's not someone you can talk into something she's not interested in. If she said she does not want you, I would advise you, leave her alone. Let mm. her be. See, I don't want to advise you. Okay? You know I can leave her alone. Ha. Okay, you are her best friend. Let me talk to her. She will listen to you. Please. Okay, but I'm not promising you, but I will try. <laughs> Gee. <laughs> um, you see, I know I can always count to you. Thank you so much. All right, um, I'll be on my way. All right, thank you. Bye. Thank you. You see, I just remember the way you scrambled off the other day, begging me not to harm you. Did you actually think I was going to hurt you? How would you feel if a total stranger walks up to you and shows you a picture of you having your bath in your own bathroom? Now that's extreme. Oh, ho. eh? That was how I felt that day. You know, I just felt I was being watched in a place that I thought I was safe. Oh, I 
I am really sorry. I didn't know that was how you felt. But now I know. I promise I won't do that again. <laughs> it's huh? okay. It's okay. It's okay. Um, thank you so much for the ride. You're welcome. Thank you. Are you not going to let me come inside? My mother will not be happy if I tell her that you're the mystery man who evaded my reading spot. <laughs> so no, I don't want you to come inside. Maybe next time. <sighs> and I am taking you by your words. Physics and further maths. Right, um, same reading spot, I guess. Oh well. Now that I know that I'm not being watched by a serial killer, it actually works for me. Good. So what time? This time tomorrow is fine. Alright. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for everything. Thank You're welcome. You. Mm -hmm. Take care. Bye. <laughs> Oh, sweetie, sweetie, my darling, darling, you sweet me, I sweet to you on the bicycle path. Oh, sweetie, sweetie, my darling, darling, ma. you sweet me, I sweet to you on the bicycle path. But are you sure you're for real? Yes, and your love, just give me a chance to prove it to you. In my path, I follow you, I know, I know, I know, but I must go, you know. But are you sure you're for real? Yes, and your love, just give me a chance to prove it to you. In my path, I follow you, I know, I know, but I must go university, go where Balenciaga. Why are you staring at me? Because I can feel your eyes burning through my ears. Oh, go no. Chinele, you know why? Give me gist. Which gist? Because there's no gist. So, how did it go? You went well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What does he want? He said he wants us to be friends. And... And he seemed like a very nice person. And being friends with him will help me academically. It's <laughs> you. Chico, academically. I don't understand. Just what that. are you insinuating? Please, please, please go and sit down there. He said he will help me with topics that I find very difficult. Wow, nice. Fine. Uh, can I join? Of course you can. I've been asking you endlessly to join me. But you're always very lackadaisical with your reading habits. I don't know why. I beg, Chinele, the school stress is much already. And after facing that one, I'll still come back home and face my house chores. Do you want me to die? Hey! The stress is too much. Lazy! Lazy! Lazy Nigerian youth. That is what you I want. I agree. No problem. That is what no you want. problem. <laughs> but wait, bro. I seriously. Mm. That guy is handsome and he sings harmless. Hey! Zukwanike. It's your arrest. Uh -uh. Everybody is fine in your eyes. Not everybody. Leave that thing. Okay. Maybe he's handsome. But is his heart as handsome as his face? That should be the question right now. Because that guy is very fine. Hey! Mwamaka. <laughs> shall be very careful. Don't be carried away. That's my own. Once again, 
carry the way kwa. Hey, you're talking as if you don't know me very well. Mpan, that one will not happen. See, we are going to set boundaries and territories to avoid stories that touch the hearts. Hey, mother, I agree. And why are you saying it like that? Like you don't believe me? Did I say anything? Mm -hmm. Now you know. I think I don't know that you are, you are, you are, you are turning your nose. You can't bear. You see you can't bear. <laughs> I was just looking after you. I know you very well. I care for you. You can't bear. Don't forget mm -hmm. that I care for you. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. You see. My hey, I'm seeing you. vision where I'm going to cut your leg for you. I'm telling you, I'm a fan of vision. That's why I have to yeah. do it like that. Yeah. I'm glad you understand everything now, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, Mama, welcome. Good evening. Mm. Um, uh, Mama, this is Chidi. Mazi Amechi's son. The one that lives overseas. He just came back. Mm. Good day, ma. Good day. Thank you very much. Chinelo, uh, I, I think I have to take my leave now. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Uh, I'll take my leave now, ma. My regards to your people. Very well. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Chilebo. What's the matter with him? Not to know. He is my friend and he's helping me with my schoolwork. Eh? Uh, be Be careful in this house, oh. Don't be seen by Obodo and Bika. I don't know why you said they give me the job that I just cannot give. Mama, you, you don't have anything to worry about. Honestly. I'm not worried, though. I'm not worried. Mali Hemma will be careful. She will be careful in this house. If you say God, I'm not. Let me water. Hey! I'm not going to see some. She will! She will! I'm coming!
Um, that will be all for now. You people should try to administer the medication as I prescribed. Huh? Thank you very much, Doctor. Thank you. Mom, I'll just I'll just take it off. Oh. Yes. I don't think I I don't think I'll make it alive. Good for bit. What will happen to you, my husband? Okay. My mom. My mom and son. I'm losing strength. As the days as the days go by. Please don't lose hope. Please. What will happen to you? Honestly, Mr. Chidi, I'll be very, very honest with you. Your father's condition is deteriorating. I, I won't no doubt if he will eventually make it alive. What are you trying to say, Doctor? Are you trying to tell me there's nothing you can do about this? You are a highly recommended doctor for Christ's sake. Of course I am a highly recommended doctor and that is why I'm doing actually what I'm supposed to do my best. It is my responsibility to administer medication. But it is in the hands of God to bring about the healing. The most important thing now is that your father would lead his family members around him. I've heard what you said, Doctor. Thank you very much. I will, I will be on the way now. Please do. I'll let you care of me. What took you so long? I was so worried. I actually thought you had changed your mind. What is wrong? My father. My God. What happened to your father? Please talk to me. What happened to your father? The doctor said. He has a little time to leave. No. Oh. He said his health has deteriorated and can't be managed anymore. Why? I don't want my father to die. I am so sorry. Please. Just hang in there, okay? God will see you through. My own father's death was even worse. We didn't have any money when he was sick, so we couldn't even treat him. And we lost him to the cold and merciless hands of death. It's okay. She, why do you feel for me so much? We are best friends, right? And friends make each other feel better. I just, I just wish I can ease your pain, honestly. No. We are more than friends. I mean, we... What? 
I do not even know the right words to use. I love you. Yes. I know it is crazy for me to say this to you, but I do. I just can't help it. What are you saying? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Okay, I I guess I got carried away. I'm sorry. It's fine. But listen. You are supposed to be my extra moral lesson coach. So you have to keep your emotions in check. Please. I understand what a man's respect means to him. And I honestly do not want to lose my respect for you. Please. I'm so sorry about you. <laughs> The most important thing is that Chidi and I are mature enough to respect the boundaries of our friendship. Mm. Mm -hmm. So what you are trying to say is that there's nothing going on. There's no any emotions attached. How can you be asking me that? Don't you think that if Chidi and I are more than just friends, you would be the best person to know? <laughs> I was wondering. Ooh. I was wondering. Uh, but I tell you this. Whichever way you decide to go into a relationship with Chedi, you have my full support. <laughs> <laughs> let, me, let me tell you something. You know I never had a brother. So Chedi is more like the brother I never had. Just like your sister I never had. Aww. And <laughs> let me now tell you something. You see today's exam mm. for the mass. Mm. I am so ready for it. All thanks to Chidi. Ah, Chidi, thank you. Thank you for coming to our rescue. <laughs> uh, me, me, me. I am going to sit with you. Ah, say this one. one. Say this one. Oh, okay. What if they sit us according to our surname? Ah, you. You will be fine. <laughs> but it's okay. I can put you through before the examination. That is if you want to, because I, I am tired of forcing you to study. I don't know how you do it. Don't worry. When we get to the bridge, you know how to cross it. God will make your way. See this one. God. God will come and write the exam for you. He will come. He will make God will write the exam for you. We will sit together now. <laughs> you will not see me. It's a lot of people from the back.
Darling, darling, you sweet me, I sweet to you on the bicycle bar. Oh, sweetie, sweetie, mo. darling, darling, mo. you sweet me, I sweet to you on the bicycle bar. But are you sure you're for real? Yes, I'm your love, just give me a chance. To prove it to you In my powerful I know, I know But I must go university Go where balance But are you sure you're for real? Yes, I'm your love Just give me a chance To prove it to you In my powerful I know, I know But I must go university Go where balance Huh? Yes, you are very beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Truth be told, I, I, I like this place. You know, I like this place a lot. It's beautiful. I'm yes. Very quiet. Yes, That's it the is. one thing I like about it. Yes, it is. Ah! Very beautiful. <laughs> hmm? I like those trees. I threw you over there. You see it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's not as near as it looks. That tree is really far. I love adventures. Why don't we go through the bush to that tree? <laughs> I. It's fine. Good. <laughs> Let's go.
Chinelo. Chinelo. Yeah. What is this? What are you doing here? So, it is because of that, that boy. That poor boy. That you told me down. Me, me a maker down. What are you talking about? Isn't it obvious? So, because I don't have a car and speak super, super, super through my nose, that is why you turned me down. You know, for a while, I thought you, you were a decent girl. But unknowing to me that you are a cheap, materialistic girl who goes after men with cars. Look at that one. That one that bam his hair like, 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 like we, we, women. Uh, uh, Emeka. Enough. Let's go. Do you want to know why I don't do that? Yes, I want to know. It is because you don't have brain. In Wopokorishi, you no know, brain inside. Yes, you are just a village layabouts. A village tout. Refraff with no future ambition. That's what you are. You see that Chidi. <laughs> Chidi is everything you should, you should wish for. He has everything to offer. He has values. He is a real gentleman. But you, you, apart from looking for women to ruin their lives, what else do you have to offer? Nothing. Apart from going around this village looking for people's lives to ruin, women's lives to ruin, what else do you have to offer? Eh? What else apart from this miserable looking thing inside your dirty boxes that I'm very sure is smaller than a small pincher? It's not small. Ah, it's not small. Get away from there. It's not small. It's, it, it, it's because you've not tested it. A wood tester. See, let me tell you. You see that Chidi? Chidi is better than you. Chidi respects women's decision. Unlike you who cannot even take ordinary rejection from a woman. Hey, make her get a life, oh. Get a life and do something better with it. Instead of looking for someone's daughter to ruin her future. Hey! If I was, if I was you, hey, make I will change it for you. If I was you, you will stick your feet on the car. Don't try me, oh. Hey! Don't touch me, oh. Come, don't touch me, oh. Don't touch me, oh. Don't touch me, I will change it for you. Oh. you Come, if, if like, lo I, I will slap that love out of your mouth now. If, if you touch me, I will wag the Chinese. Come, it's like I, I, I've been keeping quiet for you in your mind. I'm a very quiet person. Don't try me. Oh. I, I, I will change it for you. I'm yeah. never happy that you are. Very, I'm so mad like me. You will see you out. I'm so sexy. <laughs> Is that the new grammar you learn? You want to use it for me, eh? Eh? Sexy. You better accept me. Come, shrink and cap over here, office, so you idiot. If you're a woman, you're approaching menopause, but you don't know. I'm the one here. This thing you're doing is not fair. <laughs> I told you to stop doing that. I'm sorry about that. I just like the way it makes you feel. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine. How long have you been here? About an hour. I actually thought you wouldn't make it. Well, um, I'm sorry I was with my father. Oh, yes. It's okay, I, I understand. How is he? He's not getting any better. Oh. At all. Everything that has been done medically to tackle this ailment has failed. 
It's okay. Don't worry about it. He will be fine. Nothing will happen to him, okay? I hope so. Listen, uh, I want to show you something. What? Just wait. Ta -da! Oh my god. This is so beautiful. Do you like it? I love it. I want a copy of it. How do I get it? Okay, I will make a copy for you. And then I'll keep this one. I use this to remember our love, <laughs> our bond, and everything we share. Hey, you don't have to be afraid, okay? When I said I love you, I meant it. And I promise you, nothing will ever make me leave you. Are you serious? Of course. Of course I'm serious. And that is because I love you so much. And I want to be with you forever. <sighs> Come here. Are you sure you're for real? Yes, and your love. I love you, okay? Just give me a chance to prove it to you. In my powerful and in I had fallen in love with him without even realizing it. So I believed him when he told me I had nothing to worry about. But <sighs> I got the shock of my life when I got admitted into the university. What happened when you got admission? I found out I was pregnant. My mother was was so heartbroken. Was Chidi aware? I told him. I told him about the pregnancy. And that was when I realized I was all alone. Hmm. What the hell are you saying? Chimero? That you're pregnant? How the hell did that happen? Who's responsible? Of course you are. I mean, you're my first, and you're my only. Oh yes, I could be your first, but I'm not sure I'm your only. What are you implying? Well, what I am implying is that I am not ready for any pregnancy setback. My father is lying in the mortuary, and the only thing in my head right now is to bury him. Not take up some stupid marriage responsibilities. Never. You, you don't expect me to abort this baby, do you? Well, I expect you to handle this as an adult that you are. Okay? By the way, you're not even ready to get married now. So handle it. It's your responsibility. But you, you, you promised to love me. You, 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 you said you would be with me. You, 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 you slash! I lied. Do you know what? I'm done. Everything we had was over. Don't you ever call me. Okay? I don't want to ever have anything to do with you again. We're done. You took your best yourself. I should have known 
I should have known. No banya, no banya siga pali. I should have known. Uh-huh. Education no my boy is no fear. Uh-huh. Education no my now. I should have known this. I should have known that. I should have known that. It saddens me that I wasted so much time hating on him and being angry at him for something that was not his fault at all. It's okay. Do not dwell on your past. Let it go. Move on and let this moment count. That's what matters. Hmm? I will. Guess what? What? <laughs> Anastasia promised to get me a job. That way, I can save up for school. School? 